Good afternoon. It's Nick. So, menopause, walking. I'm doing a walking challenge. Uh, the reason being that my fitness went out the window when I ruptured my Achilles tendon and I had to have surgery on it. For those who follow me, you're probably sick to death of hearing of it. I'm sick to death of it, I've got to say. But, oh my Lord, this whole rehab thing when you've had surgery takes forever. Uh, it's actually taught me a great deal of empathy for people when, you know, parts of our body, um, our physical ability is affected because it's been, it's the first uh, kind of big proper injury I've ever had. I don't think I really had any idea that what that would mean. But anyway, I, I got to the point where I just got really pissed off with being unfit and uh just just feeling just feeling really old actually so a few weeks ago a menopause consultant did change my hrt because after you've been taking the same hrt hate same hrt in the same way for a long time just the same concept of antibiotics it's got a very fancy name that i can't remember kicks in and uh it stopped working which is what what happened with me um, and it felt like I did right at the start of my menopause before I was on HRT. So I've, I've converted, I've come off my HRT patches and I've gone on to gel. And I have to say, it's definitely um, an improvement for sure. And it's definitely working much better. Big telltale sign actually is that my hair is much better. It's growing. And it's a lot softer. And the nausea is gone because I was getting quite a lot of nausea. But what I would say, and I don't know if this is hormonal or whether... You know, I've been physically... I haven't physically done stuff for, oh, I don't know, six or seven months. So I can't really ever remember being this unfit, if I'm honest. You can see, I mean, I, I'm walking, look at the colour of me, you know. I mean, there's a lot of hills on the walk I'm doing. I'm doing a challenge. I have to do a walk every day, 15 days, apart from a Saturday and Sunday. And then I get to choose whether to go or not, because it's the weekend. I never need a treat, right? Um... And today is day eight. So it's week two, it's Wednesday, and it's day eight. And uh, I'm really, really tired. I am bone tired. I've put some extra estrogen on this morning because I don't know if it's hormonal or whether it's just physical because, you know, I'm not fit. It's only day eight. Um, I've been fit all of my life. I've always done sports, so... I'm very uncomfortable with not feeling physically strong and able. I'm really uncomfortable with it. I find uh, my mental health is really affected by that feeling. I've always said, you know, I don't, I don't give a toss about my weight, really. I never have. I've always done sport for the, for the joy of sport, for the social interaction. It's been wonderful, the social interaction and connection and the egalitarian community um, and my mental health as a consequence has always benefited hugely from all the sport I've done I met some really wonderful people and if as a byproduct of that uh, my body's in a bit more sh great shape fantastic but that's never been a primary driver for me so this loss of physical ability is really it's really hit me and I remember at the start of the menopause, before I went on HRT and before I found my life-saving oncologist, and I don't say that lightly at all, if any of you have watched some of my more desperate vlogs, when I felt like the world's kind of opening up and eating me, it's definitely quite life-changing. But uh, right at the start, it really, really upset me, the tiredness, um, I stopped playing squash, the aches and pains, um, the, just the... You know, couldn't be asked to go out and do anything. And that loss of physicality, I found, a, yeah, I really grieved for it. And it's interesting that my mental health doing this walking challenge is far better. You know, I'm really very motivated every day to get up and out. Actually, no matter how shit I feel, so it goes to show, doesn't it? Mind over matter. But I do feel bone tired. So it'll be interesting to see whether this, um, this tiredness lifts as I get fitter, because it's day eight. 
or not. Um, and I have asked, uh, so, and also what I am going to keep my eye on is I've upped my estrogen this morning. And I don't know if with increasing my exercise, yeah, 5k a day, there's four quite big hills on the walk. Um, and for me, I'm actually going quite fast considering, you know, my leg's a bit of a, you know, hop along Cassidy. So it'll be quite interesting to see whether I actually do need more estrogen now that I'm doing all of this more physical stuff. Or whether it's just, you know, the cycle and it's just a natural dip that I need to um, support. So watch this space. But what I would say is as tired as I am on the days I'm really tired, like I'm really tired. So I've only got one dog to keep it simple. My, my best behaved dog that I know will do as is told. Um, if I'm really tired like now, it's okay to stop for a couple of minutes. If I need to walk slower, that's okay too. I think it's always about being kind to ourselves. And actually the hardest thing is just getting out. It doesn't matter how fast, how slow, how far. None of that actually matters. It just, it just matters that we um, can accept and be kind to ourselves about where we are you know, during each day and what we need. So uh, I'm about 70% of the way through. I'm going to finish my walk and I'll let you know in a couple of days whether the increase in the estrogen has had any effect or not. Okay, thanks for listening.